I'm going to be very serious for a moment because I've heard this type of dialogue a lot and it really angers me. Bad Bunny on the left. Are you going to question me if I'm on the left? What have you done for left wing causes? What have you done for leftism? What have you done to advance the rights of workers? What have you done to advance the rights of marginalized community that you were calling racial slurs just a year ago? Where have you been on the front lines? Actually combating fascism. And you want to know something that I know angers you, Bad Bunny? As much as I disagree with a lot of things that Destiny has done in the past, Destiny has done more for left-wing politics Ooh. in the last six months than you will in the rest of your life, and that angers you deep inside. Okay, I think that Dylan Burns needs to be permanently banned from Twitch because this is violence. This definitely goes against the TOS. While you're accusing everyone of being a fascist or not being on the left, you haven't been anywhere. And the thing is, Twitch is covered by people like Bad Bunny. People who will say, Yas Queen, clap their hands, react to YouTube videos, but they will not get the work done. God fucking damn, Dylan went hard. <laughs>
I forget which. Wait. This is the response from someone. I Dylan's covering this last bit. I don't know what it says. But so for the context is he spent the last four days in a psych ward just because of this, because there was a wellness check on a suicide attempt he had. <sighs> Poor guy. Issues specifically, but there's certain issues that they don't like that Steven said. I know that Bad Bunny has a lot of problems with Steven. And so st me responding with a picture of Steven, who is somebody that she uh, sees as hostile to like progressive values, to left wing values, to, and I would assume trans values, or trans values, trans issues. Therefore, this is somehow like a jab at her. It wasn't. And it wasn't meant to go after her during her mental health day. It was meant to like make fun of the fact of like, Lamau, Destiny is my pet. That was the joke. Like, he's all of our little, but oh, look at the little scram getting in trouble on Twitter. That was the joke. It had no other insinuations whatsoever. So let's first start with this. Twitch streamers on the left. And I'm going to be very serious for a moment because I've heard this type of dialogue a lot and it really angers me. Bad Bunny on the left. My introduction to left wing politics was through working in the Maryland General Assembly. I then went on a presidential campaign for the late great Senator Mike Gravel as a state director. I then went to 1199 SEIU, a healthcare workers union, to learn and study how to organize. I became a political consultant for 21st century Democrats and tried to help the 21st district in Maryland connect with citizens. I'm on the environmental board of my city. I managed the first gay mayor of my city's mayoral campaign to a victory with over 70% of the vote in a three-ray race. I have organized on school board campaigns to national level campaigns, including Michaela Wilkes run for Congress and State Senator Jill Carter when she ran to replace the late great Elijah Cummings, I advised them both on foreign policy and did my best to help them. Uh, did my best to help them both win. Those are my credentials, Bad Bunny. Your credentials is watching videos on Twitch, reacting to YouTube videos. Talk That's that your left-wing credentials, Bad Bunny. Your left-wing credentials is being a reformed person from a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago while you were saying the N-word and it was kind of hard to tell you apart from like, hey, a normal streamer or if you were holding this, I was organizing with healthcare unions while you were learning not to say the N-word and call my people the f He's going so fucking hard. That's what I was doing when you were doing that. So you're going to question me if I'm on the left? What have you done for left-wing causes? What have you done for leftism? What have you done to advance the rights of workers? What have you done to advance the rights of marginalized community that you were calling racial slurs just a year ago? What have you done, Bad Bunny? You haven't done shit. What you do is sit in your chair all day and react to YouTube videos that explain the basic concepts of politics to you with your audience. And they all sit there, clap, and say, Yas, queen. That's what you do. So don't question my credentials. When I've done more for left-wing politics in one year of my life than you will for the rest of yours. The rest of your activism is going to be collecting Twitch primes. This thing I do online with Twitch, this is not my end goal. Two weeks from now, I'm going to be joining another campaign because that's what I do for a living. And I'm going to be managing that campaign to success. You know why it's going to be to success? Because I managed it. Because no campaign I ever managed has ever lost. You don't want to know what you're going to be doing? Collecting Twitch Primes. I'd drop this in an instant if I had to for my God political fucking career. fucking damn. You have made no sacrifices for leftism. 
You've made no sacrifices for this. I was attacked by Proud Boys in DC. Where have you been on the front lines actually combating fascism while you're accusing everyone of being a fascist or not being on the left? You haven't been anywhere. And the thing is, Twitch is covered by people like Bad Bunny. People who will say, Yas Queen, clap their hands, react to YouTube videos, but they will not get the work done. I see pe people like Tory News who actually get out there and do work. They're few and far between. And you want to know something that I know angers you, Bad Bunny? As much as I disagree with a lot of things that Destiny has done in the past, Destiny has done more for left-wing politics Ooh. in the last six months than you will in the rest of your life. And that angers you deep inside. That does. The fact that he had some part to play in the election. Okay, I think that Dylan Burns needs to be permanently banned from Twitch because this is violence. This definitely goes against the TOS. ...of John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. That angers you. That pisses you off a little bit. And for you to degrade me as if I'm not on the left while you sit there high and mighty collecting Twitch primes. Get the fuck out of here. <gasps> Dylan's being mean to me. You went after my suicide attempt for virtue signaling points on Twitter. A curd is a curd. I don't need to be nice to you. I have my, I do my best to be nice to everyone, even if I disagree with them. But you know what? I don't need to be nice to people who treat me like shit and don't do shit. And you treat me like shit with posts like this, and you don't do shit. You thrive on attention. So in a way, what I'm doing here is giving you what you want, giving you that attention. And that's fine, because I wanted to say it. I wanted to get this off my chest. But I just want you to know... That you are have no place. God fucking damn, Dylan went hard. There's part two? Oh yeah, I'll watch it. Else's oh yeah, no, like, she rebranded because of the baggage around her name. And she killed her SEO in the process, and it was really funny because it didn't help. In fact, it did the opposite. It Streisand affected her because, like, everyone now knows that Kira Chats is Bad Bunny. You look up Kira Chats, it she gives you shit about her past. It Credentials on leftism. When we were out there working... To no, she didn't rebrand because of the rapper with the same name. In the video on her YouTube channel on the day she rebranded, she talked about how she rebranded because of the harassment. And let me be clear, the $5 a month stuff, she legitimately got harassed for that and it wasn't okay. However, she is a terrible human being and she has done terrible, terrible things like what she did to Dylan, what she's doing to me, what she's done to countless people I know. If she had a bigger platform, she would absolutely be a huge fucking bully. And I'm so glad that I was able to surpass her as a streamer in less than a year of taking it seriously. To get left-wingers elected and to do direct action. And I was working when you were doing this. I was busy at the University of Maryland making speeches on Soleimani and trying to defend local worker co-ops from going under. While you were too busy, well, I don't know about my position on the calling gays the F-slur. So is it really your place to question my credentials? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. And as for you trying to weaponize your suicide attempt, which at, m at worst you could call what I said a joke that didn't land, I think that shows your dedication to leftism. You want to know something, Bad Bunny? I remember, and I care deeply about foreign policy. You were talking a lot of stuff about Hamas that I deeply disagreed with. I deeply disagree with Hamas. I think they're a disgusting organization, and I disagree with the comments on the organization. But you know what? You were getting a lot of heat, a lot of heat for comments like that. Maybe deservedly so. But what I did is I put that aside in my mind, and I went into your DMs, and I tried to offer you some kind of like, hey, are you doing okay? Because I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of that.
I've had actual hit jobs from real journalists, not other people on journal, real journalists for the Jerusalem Post say stuff about me that got a hate mob against me and threatened my work on campaigns. I've had that happen. Not comparable to what happened to you, but I've had that happen. And so I go to you in private and you're like, thank you so much, this is so lovely. But then when you have the one moment that you could have come, if you really disagree with this, you could have came in my DMs. Dylan, this is why I think this is problematic and I think you should take it down. And you wanna know what? You probably could have convinced me to do it. Just so I could have had a cordial relationship with you, if nothing else. Just to do it on good faith. But you didn't do that. You did this little public charade while digging up my suicide attempt from not even a, what, it's like two months ago. It's not even two months old. It's not even two months old. And you're digging it up to throw it at me while claiming that I'm not the true leftist. I'm not the true left winger. It's disgraceful. I only thought you treated black bisexual men this way. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up with this? That's crazy. So, let me finish this off. Somebody having a camera on this platform does not mean they're worth being listened to. Anyone can buy a camera and a mic. Anyone can have good quality and maybe throw a few jokes around. If Bad Bunny is going to go around doing this, accusing other peoples of abandoning leftism, while she does literally nothing to advance the movement and actually goes after real activists doing real work, then I think maybe instead of reacting to political content, you should just go deeper into just chatting. And the deepest you ever get the politics should be maybe Jubilee videos. How about we stick with that, okay? And then when you deal with the Jubilee series of videos, then maybe you can upgrade to a higher level, okay? Get the fuck out of here. Dylan, go up to my suicide attempt. So fucking cool. Dylan, you know, this is very mean and this is unpolite and this isn't the type of Dylan Burns I came to twitch.tv to watch today. And you know what? That's going to be too bad for me because there is certain lines that I don't like being crossed and this is one of them. This is one of the lines. Digging this up for virtue signaling points on Twitter. And you know what? When I called you out and asked you to just not do that. Like, I don't appreciate it. This is the nicest way I could have put this. The nicest possible way. And I respond. It was just a joke. Explaining. And you blocked me. Whatever. I understand. That you don't like accountability. It's a word that doesn't translate in your head. Fuck. Fine. But what I've learned from this is that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not messing with these, these pseudo-activists, these people going around telling people doing real work how they should and should not behave. If I'm going to listen to somebody from now on, I'm going to listen to the people when it comes to criticisms of what I do or criticism of my content. From people who are actually out here doing stuff. From people who actually know what they're talking about. Not people outrage marketing on someone else's behalf. And using my suicide attempt to do it. So fuck off. Okay? That was... God damn. I'm like, I'm, I'm speechless. Honestly, that was, I think that might have been like one of the most like passionate rants I've seen on a live stream. I, it made me think about how much I hate this kind of behavior on like this progressive side of live streaming and content creation because of how much this happens. And I'm now I'm just I'm like 
I'm happy he called it out. She's a piece of shit. And it also made me really mad about the recent hit piece video about me. Because why does this keep happening? Why is it the people who are supposedly on the left and progressive, like, why is it that mental health issues, suicide attempts, all of this sort of shit, why is this okay as a gotcha and a way to attack people? <sighs> yeah, I mean, someone says it's, it's not okay ever, but it keeps happening. And people encourage it. And empathy just shuts off in people's brains, even though God knows you want that empathy when you're in that difficult situation. For. Thank you all so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the topics we covered in this video, so please leave a comment to let me know what you think. The content on this channel wouldn't be possible without the generous support of my patrons at patreon.com slash Consider becoming a patron today for cool bonuses like early access to content on the channel. I'd like to give a very special thanks to my $200 patrons, Marking14, Lulu, Allison, and Mia. Thank you so much for all of your support. As well, a shout out to my $30 patrons. Catherine Sorrenti, Nell Blahaj, Scarlett, John Nathan, David Jones, Riley Fox, Ethan White, Chris, Radia, Cryptid, and Tipster. Thank you so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.